Yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be talking about every meathead's nightmare, cardio. It's often believed that cardio will kill your muscles and make you weaker. Is there any truth of this or is that just one big fat myth? First, let's talk about how muscle is lost in the first place. Muscle is lost when muscle protein breakdown exceeds muscle protein synthesis. Simply put, if your body breaks down more muscle than it builds up over time, you will lose muscle. This is referred to as being in an extremely catabolic state. This occurs when a person performs more catabolic behaviors than anabolic behaviors. Catabolic behaviors are ones that encourage breakdown, while anabolic behaviors are ones that encourage the opposite, which is building up. While cardio is a catabolic behavior, it won't burn off your muscle unless you live an extremely catabolic lifestyle. This means if you eat in extremely low calories uh, while eating very little protein, and not doing a lot of strength training paired with a lot of cardio, you will in fact lose muscle. But if you train and eat wisely, you can add a fair amount of cardio without losing any muscle at all. This means consuming enough protein, not dropping calories too low, and most importantly, strength training more than cardio. So basically cardio won't kill your gains. End of story, right? Not quite. While including cardio won't necessarily cause muscle loss, research has shown an interference effect, meaning cardio can decrease the potential muscle, strength, and power you are about to build with resistance training. Here's a meta-analysis done in 2012 showing concurrent training, meaning training involving both strength training and aerobic training, does have an interference effect. Now, before you start freaking out and think cardio is the devil, please watch the rest of this video. First of all, it's important to note that the same meta-analysis showed the interference effect of cardio depends on the type of cardio, volume, and frequency. So if you're doing a ton of long duration marathon running multiple times a week, you will significantly hinder your muscle and strength gains. But the interference effect of cardio won't be significant if cardio is kept in low amounts done at lower frequencies. I'll give recommendations at the end of the video, but first, let's talk about how to reduce the interference effect. Here's a study showing if cardio is done, you should do it on a separate day or at least six hours apart from your strength training workouts to minimize the interference effect. If you're a busy person and must do strength and cardio work in the same session, it's best to do cardio after strength work as the systematic review shows. The type of cardio you do will also have a small effect on the interference effect. This meta-analysis showed that HIIT style of cardio will be much better at minimizing the interference effect on the lower body when compared to steady state cardio. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't even care about cardio or improving my endurance. I'd rather just build the most amount of muscle and strength without any interference. While you can do this at certain points in time, it's also beneficial for your gains to include cardio into your program. Here's why. Cardio might directly interfere with strength and muscle growth slightly, but it can also indirectly boost your strength and muscle growth as well. You see, the aerobic system plays a massive role in anaerobic performance, like lifting weights, as this study shows. Training the aerobic system by doing cardio is important because the effects of cardio will boost recovery and work capacity, both of which leads to more muscle and strength gains. Cardio is more than just improving endurance for running marathons. Here's a chart by researcher Greg Knuckles showing cardio training can contribute greatly to long-term gains, even though it might have a short-term interference effect. Cardio increases the amount of work you can do, muscle blood flow, and recovery abilities. Not to mention cardio is really good for your heart, because, you know, staying alive is probably just as important as getting big muscles are. So to recap, if you're looking to maximize strength and muscle gains, and you don't have any recovery issues or endurance issues, then you don't have to include cardio. But if you're huffing and puffing between lifting sets, then including some cardio into your program is a very good idea. If you do choose to include cardio into your program, here's what I recommend. Do five to 30 minutes of cardio one to four times a week without letting the total amount of cardio work exceed the total amount of strength work you do. 
you should always do more strength work than cardio work. Lastly, be sure to eat more food. By adding cardio, you're gonna be burning more calories. So if undesired weight loss is occurring, make sure you increase calories to make up for it. That is all for this video, YouTube. I hope it helps you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.